Hello. My journey as a full-time caregiver covered a little more than seven years. As many caregivers would say, I found there were gifts in the experience as well as frustrations. Gifts came in the form of increased closeness between my husband, who was the patient, and me as we learned better to prioritize daily tasks and how to take things less seriously than we had before. When, when caregiving felt overwhelming, I had family members and friends who lent a listening ear as well as offered to help in really tangible ways with household tasks. I wish that before becoming a caregiver, I had practiced letting someone help me from time to time instead of being so stubbornly self-sufficient because I can vouch for the fact that caregivers need to say yes when someone offers to help. All during the seven years, I took notes and set up files on various services that we needed, whether it was for oxygen, uh, equipment, special vitamins, supplies, etc. When possible, I ordered those things online in order to save extra trips and time away from home. Also, I took an active role in my husband's dialysis by going into the hemodialysis clinic with him before each of his sessions and going in again to be with him at the end of his treatment. Getting to know the clinic staff by those visits made all the difference in assuming that communication would go on and that they knew I was going to be thoroughly involved. Whenever possible, I tried to be at the clinic when my husband's nephrologist came in to visit with him. At times, my husband and I had a list of questions to discuss, and at other times, we simply had friendly conversation. Either way, tending that relationship makes a great deal of difference, and it did for us when my husband had to go into the hospital, for instance, or otherwise had an emergency in between dialysis sessions. One small thing that caregivers can do every day is to write in what I call a gratitude journal. It doesn't matter whether you write things down that you're grateful for all during the day or if you wait until bedtime when you fall into bed and you can write down at least three to five things before you go to sleep. Either way, the practice helps to remember the gifts in each day when otherwise you might remember only the challenges. Thank you.